I mentioned them briefly in the basic textbook. Now, uh, apparently, you, you have the word guide in front of you, but mm-hmm. there's a basic textbook uh, that comes before the word guide. I mean, that divide it or segment it into nine areas of activity. Mm-hmm. And it's about the do's and don'ts that are addressed to individual people in dealing with racism. But the word guide that you have is an addition to the basic book. And your question was about universal man and universal woman. Exactly. Now, they are yet to be produced. See, in order for people to progress, they first have to have a vision. A vision of what? Of a goal. G-O-A-L. In other words, something to reach for. I mean, everybody likes to have something to look for, but you want to have something to look for that makes sense. Particularly in a world that is chaotic as it is now. You don't want to reach for another chaotic world. And the white supremacists think like that. They show that in a lot of the movies, those who participate in movie making. Uh, not, Not all white people and whatnot, but I mean, there are some white people who are racist, who are associated with movie making. And what do they do when they make movies? They make movies about another world that exists somewhere out there. But in this other world, what do they depict the people doing? Fighting. And they make video games about this fighting on some other planet, even before they get there. So they're already saying what their plans are. They're not going there to welcome anybody. In fact, the racist mind is, hey, we can't find any dark people here. Let's go somewhere else till we find some. Because that's what we are here for. That's why we are searching the universe, trying to see if there are some more people out there, particularly people of color, purple people or whatever, as long as they got some color, so we can mess with them. They show that right on their screens, right there in front of your eyes. These are plans for the future. It's not just entertainment. The white supremacists entertain themselves by planning their next move. They don't do anything that doesn't have anything to do with giving strength to the system of white supremacy. So what we want is a universal man and a universal woman who work to do constructive things. That's what they are about. So that I would say in another, just I would like to say it in 10 years, When someone sees a a black person walk into the room, they say, oh, I can tell by the way that that person, even even the way that they talk to people when they came in here just five minutes ago already, you know that's the person that's on his way to being a universal man. But that's the lady over there. That lady over there, see that lady over there? That lady is on her way to being a universal woman. I can tell by her manner. I can tell by the way she goes about doing things. The way she talks to people, she's always courteous. Even when people are very hostile toward her, she's courteous. I mean, she's just as rigid about that as anything that you'll ever want to see. She's not going to deviate, not one inch. She doesn't get rattled by by people, you know, acting in a hostile manner, uh, in a, uh, saying derogatory things, anything like that. She, she's all about being serious about serious things, and at the same time being relaxed. Not like a robot. She's not a robot. She's not some type of monstrosity. You can tell that she has a, a real humane quality about her. And well, what is it? What are you talking about? Just watch her. She's different. She's different from any of us, black or white. She, she's on that road to being universal. That's what I mean. That mysterious quality that hasn't come into any of us. And how will we get there? By always trying to do the most constructive thing day by day in everything that we do and say. Stop and think. Means slowing down a little bit. Stop and think. What's the most constructive thing for me to say here today on the job when that lady who usually comes in here cursing and screaming, what's the most constructive thing that he or she can do? In response, that's the person that's on their way to becoming the universal man or the universal woman. That person who reacts in the most constructive manner in everything that's going on. 
regardless of what's happening, what everybody else is doing, regardless of what is popular for the moment, regardless of the latest fad that people, particularly too many black people, have a habit of jumping on to without even looking. Just whatever comes down the pike, well, whatever. You know, come day, God, go day, God send Sunday if you want to. I mean, I'll just jump on board whatever anybody's throwing at me. That's the definition of a person who has been completely devastated. We are devastated people. We're not in the process of becoming devastated. We have been devastated in a devastated condition. But we can evolve out of that. But how do you evolve out of anything? First of all, you have to have some kind of criteria. Otherwise, you don't know what you're doing or why you're doing it. But we should, we should be taking on the characteristics. One thing, what would be one of the first characteristics of a universal man and a universal woman? Always go for the truth. Always be able to acknowledge the truth. Even when people are saying things about you, if you know that they are true, be willing to stand up and say, that what you're saying about me is true. What you're saying about me is something that shouldn't be true. But it is true. And I will acknowledge that. And that thing that you say about me is a flaw. Because we all have them. And you have found one of mine. So I will work on that flaw. That is the making of a universal man and or a universal woman. Black people shouldn't take that position. We should say, we are standing on zero. We are evolving from zero to universal man and universal woman. Because right now, we are absolutely nothing. But everything of value comes from nothing. So what you do is search for results. So you watch what people do. You know, what, regardless of how small it is or how large it is, like I said, I started this program by saying what? Everything, including walking across a room and changing a chair, changing from one chair to another. That's all you did. You got out of one chair, walked across the hotel lobby, and sat in another chair. Now, by doing that one act, you did something that was constructive or non-constructive. The effect of what you did is going to have an effect of being constructive or non-constructive. And all you did was change shares. But now it might not be noticeable, but that's the effect that it's going to have. Because everything in the universe is constructive or non-constructive. And once we latch on to that, and don't deviate from it for any reason, Regardless of our personal feelings, and black people have, have all kinds of deep-seated feelings. But see, we have to use our feelings to lead us to logic, which is what we have not done. We just go by our feelings. Sometimes we even brag about it. Well, that's not how I feel about it. They say, yeah, but uh, uh, Henry, this is, this is the only way it will work. Yeah, but I don't feel that way about it. Well, Henry, you can't go into the house. I mean, the house is on fire. Yeah, but I don't feel like I, I, I feel like I should go to bed. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm going back into the house. See, we can't continue that kind of logic. We can't continue that kind of logic. All uh, what I call our feelings. We brag about our feelings. Black people used to call it what? Soul. All right. But that's basically what it is. But soul and feelings and emotions have to be attached to logic. Otherwise, it's chaotic. 